we learned something very important, and that is, we never ever, we don't ever postpone making the mizvah of tshuva, which means if you know that you messed up on something, heaven forbid in a million years, right away to tshuva right away. And we said that who doesn't do tshuva right away? The people who don't believe in the punishment of a sin, because they don't believe, so a big deal, no. And the same thing is not he just doesn't think. Now today what we're learning is, is something important, and that is, the Rebbe Yunah says, he says that what? Well, that the reason why a person shouldn't delay in correcting his mistake miyad right away is that the Yetzirah will come back again. And this time, it'll be much worse for the person. Why? Because this time, he acted as a fool. You knew you made a mistake. You know you made a mistake. So, if you postpone the process of, of fixing that mistake, it's bound to happen, meaning to say, the Yetzirah will get you again. And this time, it'll be double, double, double worse. Because why didn't you learn from your mistake that you did? And that's what he writes over here. He writes in the first shot, in the beginning, Dalid. He says that, Yif Geshu Yitzro Shenit. The Yetzirah will come back to him. He said, oh, I, I got a good customer over here. This guy, I got him once. He didn't fix his mistake. I'll get him again. I'll get him again. <laughs> he's an easy one. He didn't fix it. He says, the Yetzirah says, beautiful. I got my guy. Yif Geshu Yitzro Shenit. V'yizdamen ahet leyado. He says, I'll go get him a second time. Yif Boshet Yitzro. He says, if you forget, if you, if you, if you, if you correct your mistake the first time, then the second time when the Yetzirah comes back to you, what's the first thing you're going to understand? You're going to understand how bitter it was. Fact. If a person does sin, he feels the bitterness. A sin nobody likes to do. You feel that you ever you ever take too much to drink or too much to eat? You ever overeat? Huh? Jacob, you ever overeat in your life? Huh? Did you or no? Bemet, did you? Of course. Sometimes people they overeat. Right? Just because you're skinny doesn't mean you didn't overeat. You know what I mean? People overeat. So so now what is it? They come back with a stomach ache. Oh, my stomach and this and that. What, what, what happens next? You feel that bitterness like, oh, come on. Or a hangover. You feel like, oh. But what? You learn from your mistakes. So the next time where you're about to overeat, what happens automatically? You think in your stomach, wait, 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 wait. I'm full right now. If I have another, if I have another burger, or if I have another uh, 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 piece of uh, whatever it is, la magine, a thing like that, I know right after that. If I have a bowl, another bowl of chillin, I know from last time what happened, and therefore you're not gonna eat another bowl of chillin. You're not gonna do it. Says so the same thing by a person when he sins. It was bitter, but if you contemplate how bitter it was, just contemplate. Go back. And say, this is bitter. So then, if you really analyze it and you really make that proper correct, correction, you say to yourself, wait, 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 I don't want this happening again. You understand? I don't want it to happen again. And that's exactly what the, the, the rabbi is teaching us over here. He's teaching you is if you delay the process of correcting your wrong action, if you delay it, what's going to happen is the Yetzirah is going to come back to you. And this time, it's a worse sin. Because Hashem is going to ask from you, how come you didn't learn from your first time? You understand? You hear this, what it's telling you over there, over there? Today, this is the lesson today. Today you have to contemplate it. You're going to learn everything. You have to understand. Tshuva, the whole thing, is a process. Rabbi Yonah, the rabbi, he, he's giving you from the beginning till the end, if you know this, you'll know the severity of how to correct everything. You'll know. So today what we're learning is that the reason why now the sin becomes more strengthful if you do it the second time or the third time or the fifth time because Hashem says, what are you talking about? How come you didn't, how come you didn't learn? 
How come you didn't learn? You saw it was bitter. You felt it was disgusting. You knew it was like that. And he fall into the same trap again? What are you, an idiot? What's going on with you? And that's what he's writing over here. He's saying, Rigzu which means, Bero, Rigzu, means, wake up! You did the sin! Hitzaru feels so bad! You went against God! How could you live with yourself? You went against Hashem, the one who created you, the one who did everything for you, the one who gave you health, he gave you money, he gave you life, and you're gonna spit in his face and go against him by doing a sin? So when you realize what you did wrong, and you go back and you say, what an idiot I was. How did I go against my, my creator that gave me everything in life? Automatically, what's going to happen is going to say, the next time, if heaven forbid, it comes around the situation again, you'll never do it because you know from the past how disgusting you felt. How, how did I go against him? How did I go against Hashem? You understand what he's telling you? That's what he's telling you. You'll feel bad and you'll never do the sin again. He says he's going out and he's going out of his limit. He says that if you don't, what happens is you're not going to learn from your mistake. It's not going to learn from your mistake. It's like a trap. You know, imagine you have the, you know you have those bumps sometimes on the road. You know what I'm talking about? Like the, the bump, right? So every day, oh, every day you go over the bump. Oh, I forgot. You know, you're driving to work, whatever it is. Oh, I forgot. How many times are you going to jump over the bump? You know what I'm saying? And then you jump up and now. Come on. Come on. He says, therefore, the, ne- the fifth time, people look at you. Come on, you're a fool. Same thing. Hashem's, if you delay the fact to correct your mistake, Hashem, in a way, is saying, what are you doing? Why are you being such a foolish person? Now the Yetzirah is going to come back again. And what is he going to do? He's going to realize that you're the guy. Because look, last time I got him, oh, he didn't, he didn't correct his mistake. I'll get him again. I'll get him every single time. And that's why you have to put your brains on straight to be able to correct that. I've from that happening again.